true projects in this video we are going to explain about a project titled a deep learning and social iot approach for plants disease prediction towards a sustainable agriculture so now coming to the introduction part in the past few years the convergence of deep learning and the internet of things has given rise to invention solutions in diverse fields and specially promising applications is seen in the agriculture industry where the amalgamation of these technologies has the capacity to transform conventional farming methods this paper presents a pioneering method that merges deep learning methodologies with social iot to anticipate plant diseases contributing to the progress of sustainable agriculture so now coming to the objective part for this project is to create a sophisticated and efficient method for forecasting plant diseases as an integral aspect of sustainable agriculture the timely and precise prediction of diseases holds a crucial role in optimizing crop management procedures deep learning renowned for its capabilities in pattern recognition and data analysis will be utilized to scrutinize extensive data sets deciphering intricate patterns that signify potential diseases in plants So now coming to the requirements part here we have two types of requirements that are hardware requirements and software requirements in hardware requirements operating system as windows is required processor i5 and above minimum 8 gb of ram is required hard disk 20 gb and above coming to the software requirements part anaconda 3 is required and visual studio community version is required so now coming to the flow of project here first we have importing the packages in this module necessary libraries and packages which are numpy pandas for data manipulation sklearn to facilitate machine learning and matplotlib and c1 for visualization are important second here we have exploring the data set that is plant village image data set this involves a preliminary examination of the data set likely including an investment of its structure dimensions and initial statistical characteristics in this case it specifically focused on images related to plant plant diseases next we have image processing using image data augmentation image data augmentation techniques are applied to enhance the diversity of the data set which can contribute to better model generalization then next here we have data extraction to train and test so here in this the data set is divided into training and testing sets a crucial step for model training and evaluation the next here we have model building several deep learning models are constructed including nas net mobile dense net 121 inception dress net v2 then next here we have mobile net inception v3 and mobile net v2 then we have training the model with train and test so here in this the training the models are trained using the training data set and their performance is evaluated on the testing data set in this case it's noted that inception v3 yields the highest accuracy reaching around 90% after only five training approaches the next here we have flask framework with sqlite for sign up and sign in So here implementation of a Flask web framework with SQLite for user for user authentication including sign up and sign in functionalities. The next here we have user gives input. User provides input likely in the form of images for disease prediction. The next we have the given input is pre-processed for prediction. The input provided by the user is pre-processed to align with the requirements of the trained model. Then we have trained model is used for prediction for about image. The pre-processed image is fed into the trained model to generate predictions related to plant diseases. And the last one here we have final outcome is displayed through front end. The results or predictions are displayed to the user through the front end of the application, concluding the prediction process. This could include information about the identified plant disease. So now coming to the execution part. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. So here you can see that we have a folder which is named as template. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. Then we have another folder which is named as static. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap files. Then here we have a folder which is named as data. This folder contains all the data set which is used in this project. Next here we have .ipyng file which is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code graphs and output all in one place. It allows the users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science. Then next here we have app.py file which likely contains the information related to front end logic. It could include code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html templates. And then next here we have sign up dot db file. This file appears to be the database file which is used to store the information. So now just click over here and copy the path. Open the Anaconda prompt. 
Type the cd command followed by a space and the space the path over here and now hit the enter button. Now type python app.py and now just hit the enter button. After running the app.py file, the class members will host the application link locally at the default address in port 5000 and let's configure differently. So here you can see that the link has been posted over here. Just copy this link and paste it into any of the browser. Here I am using Chrome. So just paste the link over here and now hit the enter button. So here you can see that this is our home page for the deep learning. Here you can see that this is about the site that we can help your business grow everything you need in one solution. So you can see over here about us. It is showing the service analysis about the machine learning, the IoT sensor and the notebook. Here you can see that there is a button for sign up now. Just click on it and enter your username, your, your full name, your, your email ID, your phone number and your password for doing the registration. I have already done the registration so here I am clicking on sign in here button. So just enter your username, enter the password over here which you have created by doing the registration and simply click on login button. So here you can see that you have to enter the temperature over here, the humidity, soil, moisture, the pressure, size and here you have to upload the image to be classified. Just click on choose file button. And select the image from this and click on open button and now simply here click on upload so here by scrolling down below you can see that it is showing the result for the uploaded image that your plant leaf is corn maize healthy and there is environmental conditions don't change it there is risk of early blight if the leaf are healthy and if disease leaf means strength closing them so depending upon the image you are providing uploaded over here it will show the result for that image let's try by clicking on the try again button with another image let me enter the temperature over here the humidity the soil moisturizer suppose dry pressure is 21 and click on here choose file button here i am choosing this image and click on open button and click on upload so here by scrolling down below again you can see it is showing the result for this uploaded image. So depending upon the image you are uploading over here, it will show the result of that image. Again here you can see that there is a button for sign out and here is button for about. Just click on this button about. So here you can see that it is showing about the everything that you need in one solution the detection of a crop disease requires in addition to the photo taken from the user smartphone all the data of the sensors belonging to other users in monitoring various environmental parameters in the garden so here you can see that there is a button for sign out by simply clicking on this button you can successfully log out with this so now coming back to the conclusion part in summary the integration of deep learning and the social internet of it, internet of things that is iot for predicting plant diseases marks a noteworthy advancement in the pursuit of sustainable agriculture this study emphasizes the transformative impact of cutting edge technologies in overarching and overcoming the intricate challenges inherent in contemporary farming methods through harnessing the analytical capabilities of deep learning, the developed methodology excels in unraveling intricate patterns within agriculture data, providing a robust tool for the early identification of plant diseases. So here we have completed with our project. Thank you. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.